and I will get another one. Now what I'll do is take this out to Debbie and she can complete her verification. Well, can you describe to me how the filling process has changed now that you're using Script Pro's SB Central Telepharmacy? Actually, I can. Um, actually, it's a lot safer system to use than what we had. Um, basically, beforehand, the pharmacist was actually kind of taking our word for what we had drawn up and what we had actually put into the, to the product itself to be, to be verified by the pharmacist. Now we actually have pictures that are um, proof of what we did in the hood and it allows us to leave um, the chemo vials in the hood or dispense of them in our clean room rather than dispersing them throughout the pharmacy. And how would you say you and, and the other staff members handled the transition to the new equipment and software? It was a little rough at first. I mean, when you get you know used to um, doing things, then you get something new. Um, once you get into a habit of that, I mean, it's like second nature. Were there any surprises in how the system helped you that you weren't expecting? Yes, actually, um, because there are pictures involved, um, which is what I really like, because then um, I feel more comfortable about what I'm doing, knowing that I actually have a picture that I can look at, as opposed to just drawing something up, putting it in the bag and going, okay, what did I actually draw up? You know, now I have a picture I can look at saying, okay, that's right or that's wrong. So that's been the, the beneficial part for myself. Right. And with our with SB Central Telepharmacy, you're required to scan the barcode on each medication vial. Has this helped your confidence that you're filling it correctly, or even maybe improved your filling accuracy? Or yeah, it has because you can't you can't scan the wrong thing for the wrong patient. You know, um, if you scan the wrong drug, your patient's name will not show up on the screen. And how do you use the script pro system to track lot and expiration dates? Uh, basically, you actually take a picture of the expiration and lot when you take a picture of the, the drug name itself on the vial. Um, sometimes it's on the back side of it, and sometimes it's right you know, below the, the drug name itself. So you get anywhere from one to two pictures of just the drug and the lot and expiration. Do you feel like the telepharmacy system adds a lot of time to your preparation? Actually, it doesn't. Well, that's good to hear. It takes about the same amount of time, you know. Okay. What would you say is your favorite part about using the system? The camera. <laughs> and why is that? Just so you have documentation? Picture, documentation, you know, pictures. It's, a, it's an excellent safety feature. You know, the pharmacist can entrust in what I'm doing, you know, based on the picture, you know, and myself. You know, I've got my, uh, my pictures to back up, you know, my work. What would you say is your least favorite part of our system? I don't think I have one. Well, that's really good to hear. Thank you so much for letting me come in and talk to you today. I really enjoyed following you along on the process today. Thank you. Looks like we got some prescriptions that you need to verify. Yes. Can you just kind of walk us through your process? Uh -huh, I sure can. Um, this one uh, says on the screen that it's filled and ready to go. So I can click on him. I've actually already brought it down here. So I'm going to double click, pull it up. I've got this patient as their name, their drug. It tells me that they're getting 275 milligrams of carboplatinum. Here's the picture of the vial. And I'm going to blow this picture up because the expiration is on the front, so it expires June of 2010. And then here's the syringe. It's 10 milligrams per mil, so I should have 27.5 mils, and that's what I have. And then I have the completed product here, so I'm just going to verify. And every time you do that, that assigns your initials to sure that action. Mm -hmm. So later on, you can go back and look and see who did the fill, the verify. Correct. Okay. Correct. This is ready to go to the nurse and be administered to the patient. I was just looking at a display up here, and I see that we have a couple of scripts for a patient that are filled. Is the next step verify? It is. I'm, I have two here for this patient. I'm going to highlight, actually I can highlight one and drag it down and it'll drag both down. They're ready to go. I have a carboplatinum here, which is my first one that I'm going to look at. I'll double click it. So I have 318 milligrams of carboplatinum. Here's the product. I can highlight this to make it bigger so it's easier to read for the expiration. And here's the syringe that they um, filled. This product is um, 10 milligrams per mil, so I went 31.8 mils. 
this is just a really nice image. You can see yeah. exactly where this, the syringe is sitting at. Notice also that this small font is extremely readable on this file. It is. That's the beauty of being able to make it bigger. And if I want to make it even bigger, I can click down here and make it larger, or I can make it smaller again. I can also print this image if I would like to. I can hit print, and I can put in my ID, and it'll print it. So do you feel this brings a lot of safety into it the is, process? I like this when I'm dispensing an intrathecal medication because sometimes the nurse practitioner would like to see the product that was actually put in there. So I can provide them with an image of the exact drug that was uh, used to prepare the product. Okay, so I'm going to click to the next page, um, and this, they're showing me the final product of the bag. Okay, and I have carboplatinum and 31.8 mils. And then I'll hit the verify button and either manually put in my password or I have my barcode that I can scan. So when you do that, it assigns your initials to the verify. It does. I can do script actions and that will tell me that um, I was the person that verified that because those are my initials. Well, I can see that this would be extremely useful in tracking everything that's happened with that script. Right. Okay, so I have one more. I have paclitaxel. Double click it and it'll bring that one up. I have uh, 278 milligrams and I have paclitaxel. This is um, 6 milligrams per mil, so I should have uh, 46.3 mils. So there's 45, there's 46.3. And also I can see the expiration there, 11, 2010. If you wanted additional images, could you take additional images? Correct. If I needed to add another two cc's, they could add images onto this prescription, and I would know that they added that to make that the full 46.3 if that were not correct. Okay. So make that bigger. I'm sure I've got the right patient again. And hit verify, and then either type in my password manually or use the barcode. They're verified and ready to go and to be checked out at the window with the nurse. So, Debbie, we spent quite a bit of time talking about telepharmacy and SP Central. It seems that you like the product a lot. Can you kind of just tell me some of the key components that are really helpful to you? Yeah, um, I like it. I don't have to go in and interrupt the technician to find out if they're working on a particular prescription or not for a particular patient. I can look on the screen. It says it's either in process, it's filled, or it's still pending. I like that. That cuts down interruptions for them. I can also... Um, check exactly how much they have put in a syringe instead of sometimes if they've been interrupted they may put in 22.5 milligrams sure. of something or mils of something and really it should be 25.2 so let's say I pull up the image and there's not enough drug in there I can ask them to go back and add more drug if necessary and it also works vice versa um, so there's a little more accountability for exactly how much drug is put in um, the bag or the patient's actually receiving. I like that. I also like the fact that I don't have to handle those vials at all. Even though they're in plastic bags, there is a certain amount of exposure. Um, and no matter how careful they are, there can be spray or whatever, and that um, decreases my exposure to any cytotoxic um, drugs. Absolutely. Okay, Debbie, well, I want to thank you so much for letting us come out to your pharmacy and spend some time talking about your processes and, of course, talk about SP Central Telepharmacy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How did your staff handle the transition using the new system? Well, they were a little anxious at first. They thought it might slow them down. They're very busy, and it's a busy clinic. But actually, it only added less than a minute of time for them to take those pictures of the different stages. So uh, they did very well with that. Now, our system also has the ability to track the prescription from the minute it was entered in the pharmacy system until it was verified and dispensed. Do you use that feature? Uh, we do. Uh, it, prior to Script Pro, we would have to come back and check with the technician to see where they were with the compound. Now we can actually look at the screen and see if it's in progress, meaning they've, they've actually started compounding that product, or if they're actually done with it, we can see that on the script pro screen and save us time to come back and check. And we also don't have to interrupt our technicians to ask you know, if they're, where they're at with that. We can tell from the screen and saves us steps and time and interruptions. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the telepharmacy system? I think it just, we're just happy to have it. It's uh, increased our assurance of the products that are compounded and made our work environment safer.
All right. Well, thank you very much for letting us come in today and follow you along through the process. You're welcome.